Hi guys and welcome to another Divi WordPress theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well, we've got a regular WordPress site here with a Divi theme installed. Divi theme is absolutely awesome. If you're building anything with WordPress, I do suggest you take a look at it. And you can do so if you want to take it for a, a test run from an affiliate link below this video. So what we're going to do today is going to add a password protected page or page that is that's protected with a password. So, you know, if we go to one of these pages, it just takes us there. What if you've got some content that you only want to display to members or perhaps somebody that's got a password, not to the general public? Or you want to going to, going to, want to add a password protected page. So let's go to our dashboard and just add a page. Go to dashboard pages, add new. And I'll call this password. I'm just going to call this page password. Um, I'm going to use the Divi Builder. It's absolutely awesome. Just straight out of the box, the, the Divi theme comes with all kinds of content. So let's, I'll just grab one of their pre-made layouts and save time. It really doesn't matter which one. Get something like this. And you can scroll through, you can look at the pages you want and use what you want. I'm just going to use this one first, first one that I've picked here. Hit the load layout button. And we've got the green check mark so it's loaded and let's go ahead and publish this page and exit our visual builder now at the moment if we just go back let's go back to the dashboard and add this to the menu. This is called password. Check that box, add the menu. Save our menu. Go back to our site. It should appear up here. It's just going to be a regular page at the moment. There we are. There it is on the end. And you can just click on it, and as you can see, it's loaded that content from the Divi demo content. Okay, well, let's say we want to now protect this with a password. We don't want everybody to be able to go to it. Let's give it a password. Let's go to edit page. Let's go over to visibility on the right hand side. Under the Documents tab, Visibility, click on Public. And let's just simply select Password Protected. You can make it private. We're going to make it Password Protected. Right here is where you put in your password. For simplicity, I'm just going to say Password. Very secure. Update. Now when it's updated, let's just copy this URL. I'm going to open it in an incognito tab. I'm using Google Chrome here and open another incognito tab. It's control shift N. That way we can play with it like we're not logged in. There we go. And let's go to that page now. And as you can see, it's brought up this to view this protected post, enter a new password below. So to get in, we need to put in our password, which was password. And hit the submit button. And there we go, we're in the page. But let's 
Not real happy with the way that password field looks though. If we if we have another look. I mean it works, but I'd like to sort of see this field down here and perhaps change the submit button, make that text a little larger, something like that. So let's customize this. And like I say, I'm using Google Chrome, so I'm going to use the Chrome Inspector. Just going to right click and inspect. And let's have a look, see what we want to do. We want to grab the whole form right here. Div class ET password protected form. Okay, first thing I want to do, I don't want it to be full width there. Let's make it sort of 50% say. So I'm going to write, like I said, I'm using the Chrome Inspector. If you're on the Elements tab, you're going to have HTML over here. If you're on the Styles tab, you're going to have CSS over here. Yours may be in a different place. You can change where it is with these three little buttons here on the side, on the bottom, on the other side, or a floating box. So now I've highlighted the actual form itself. I'm going to add some custom CSS over here. Start with width. Say 50% because we don't want it as big as it is there. As you can see, I put that in there. It's become half the size of the screen, which is 50% there. Let's bring it over to the middle. And we can do that by giving it a margin on each side of margin auto. This will work with any WordPress theme. It'll be different what you see here. But using the Chrome Inspector to customize it, you'll still be able to do the same thing. If you're using any other theme that doesn't have a specific place for custom CSS, you will have to create a child theme or else it might get overwritten. Okay, well, let's put this in the middle with margin auto. Margin auto. That's telling it to automatically assign a margin either side of both. Okay, and what? Let's make it. There's our footer. I don't want your footer right up there. So let's make this the full height of the screen using the VH CSS. So put this underneath. 100 viewable height. Oh, 10. <laughs> 100 there. There we go, 100 is full screen. Whatever your screen size is, it's going to be the full amount. So there we have it. Now let's push this down a little bit. I guess we'll use a percentage to do it. Let's try 20%. Going to say padding. Top. So it's the amount of distance from the top. Let's say 20%, see what happens. Yeah, I think that's may even be a little too much. Say 15%. Okay, so what I'm, I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab this bit of CSS that we've written, copy it from the beginning dot to the ending curly bracket, control C. I'm just going to paste it into a blank notepad. There we go. Now I kind of like to see this text in the middle and a bit bigger perhaps. Now, without editing the functions PHP, I don't think we can actually change that text, but we can make it bigger and pull it in the middle if we want to. And this is it right here. 
Now it hasn't got a class of its own, but we can target it by using et password protected form p. So we can target that class and then we can target the paragraph element within there. So let's just click on that and see what we want to do with it. I'm just going to add it under element style here. Let's bring that up a little bit. Let's firstly, let's make it central. So we'll say text align center. That's plopped it in the middle there. And let's make the font size a little bit larger. Okay. Something like that. That's fine. I'll do. Okay, so I'm just going to copy those two lines of text, just the actual lines of CSS themselves, not the curly brackets and everything. What I'm going to do, so I'm going to, because we're going to use these fields right here. So let's plop that there that we've just written. I'm going to grab this title and the first curly bracket. Drop down a couple. Here's one class. Here's another class. And we want to target the paragraph text. So it's P in that class. Now we can add our code, control X to cut, drop down a couple. Let's just tidy that up a little bit. And put a closing curly bracket on the end of there. It's fine. So that should take care of that text, hopefully. And next thing we want to do is Let's change the look of this button slightly. Now what we've got here is protective form button, but we've got the hover mode. I wonder if we can turn that off. It's not so let's just put the code that we want in here because at the moment it's showing it on the, in the hover state so let's say for argument background blue When we hover on it, it's gone blue. And let's make text white to color. White FFF. There we go. It's fine. Uh, we can even make that button a little bit wider. Here's the padding. Top and bottom is the first number. Left and right is the second. So let's change that to two. That may be too much. Yeah, that's fine. I quite like that. So I'm going to copy this again from the first dot up there to the closing curly brackets. I'll put this code below the video if anybody wants to use it. Now, I don't know if you remember, but I said this was the hover states. So this only happens when we hover over it. Because it's got that colon hover there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the whole thing. I'm going to copy it one more time. And on this first one, I'm going to take the colon and the hover away. So it's just button right there. Need to do it for all of them there. Let's see. It's got the hover there. And it's got the hover here. 
and it's got the hover there. So I'm taking the colon and the hover away. I'm leaving the comma. Submit. There we go. Hover. I'm going to change this one to green. All right, let's just get rid of a few of these gaps here. Now we're going to paste this code that we've got into our custom CSS style sheet or into our custom CSS form. Control C to copy. Let's go get rid of this incognito tab. Let's go down to Divi, theme options. You can do this in the foot of the customizer as well. And on the, I guess I should have showed that first, on the general tab under Divi theme options, right down at the bottom is our custom CSS box right here. I'll give it a title, forward slash star star forward slash. And then in between we write what the title is and the forward slash star star forward slash will comment it out. So password, form. We don't need it now, but if you build a site and you write a few hundred lines of CSS, then it's a good idea to have titles in there. It's flagging something there. Oh, it's because we got the height attribute as well. That's no big deal. It's still going to work. Okay, let's save our changes. Now copy that URL and let's open another incognito tab and see if those changes have taken effect. There we go. Our text is in the middle. Our form field is only half the width of the page. Our submit button has got the color changes that we put in there. So there you have it. Let's make sure it's still going to work. There we go. That's how to add a password protected page to your Divi site and also slightly customize the password login there. So I hope you found that useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're interested in web development, take a look down below. We've got some great free courses as well as some premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers. So do check it out. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.